Hello. This is going to be a review on the NYX Doll Eye Mascara. So what I'm going to do is put it on so you guys can see if there's going to be a big difference with it or not. I have nothing on my eyelashes now. And I hope the lighting's good. So let's see. This mascara has those little fibers, I think. And this is what the brush looks like. If you see it. And we're going to just keep going. I'm not, I don't have any primer on, as you guys can see. There wasn't many um, reviews or videos that I could find with the um, mascara. So I was trying to see if I could add one for those who are curious about it. I know a lot of you YouTubers don't have the local beauty supplies like I'm fortunate enough to have here in New York. So, that's why I figured I'll do this review in case you guys decide you want to order it off online. And, uh, go from there. Now, from what I'm noticing, this is giving me a pretty looking lash. It's giving me a little bit of a curl as well. I'm sure you could work it longer to get your lashes even longer. Here's the final result. Let me see if I can zoom it without having to move my head. Here's the result. It goes the side view. <laughs> and here's my other eye with nothing at all upon it. Nothing. This is my natural lashes. These are the NYX doll eye lashes. I don't have any in the bottom. I have some, but I saw a, a little mascara guard that you put like kind of like this. You can put the mascara on. So I'm gonna have to invest into one of those. So let me zoom back. So on a scale of one to ten, I'll give this a ten just for the fact that it gave me a nice looking lash and it gave me a curl. The price I paid. Six ninety nine at my local drug um, beauty supply spot, and like I said, I have the extreme black long lash. They have different ones. They have the other one that's waterproof, which for some reason waterproof seems to mess with my eyes. And then the other one was volumizing. That may be the next pickup. I wonder if I put both together, what will happen? So, since we're here, let's see if we put on what happens when we put the Clinique primer on if anything is going to happen. I don't know, maybe I should have took my time with the um, fiber wig. But that joint just got on my nerves, so it was too much to have to deal with, so. Let's go back. Come on, camera, focus for me. Okay, here we go. Let's see, I don't know. Guys, tell me what you think. I think they're just a little bit longer. Come 
on focus for me camera. You see the difference between these two? This is with the primer. Okay, that's a good shot. You can see that. Go on the side view with the primer. And this is without the primer. I really don't see much of a difference. I don't think so. I don't think it's with the primer, without the primer. But in any event, I like it. I guess I, I guess I'll go between my NYX now and the two. So you know, I'm a, a mascara whore. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I can't help it. But um, like I said, price like price is a ten as well. But it does give it a ten. And would I recommend this? Yes, I will recommend this. If you can get it, if you can find it at your beauty supply stores, get it. If you can order online, get it. And um, that's it. Okay, that's my little quick uh, review of the NYX Doll Eye Mascara Long Lash Version. Any questions, leave me a message or just leave a comment. Bye.